Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers video. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these effects that look like we're dripping. So it's a dripping effect and you can see here that we've got a cut out sweatshirt that's dripping down. Um, it's very simple to do. All you need to do to create this effect is to have a photograph of a person and a photograph of some paint drips. Now you can use masks or you can do it the straightforward cutout way. But today we need a cutout way. So we use the magic wand tool. We select all the area that the drips are. We go over to our person that we need to cut out and we go edit copy, edit paste. And you can see that we've now cut out the shape of the drips. Next, we need to get rid of the background up here. So to do that, we go to Select and Subject. We wait for Photoshop to work out what the subject of the picture is. And then we go to Select, Inverse, and then we go to Edit, Cut. And that cuts out the rest of the background. That's the basic shape cut out. We've got the drips. But now we need to add a few more effects to it so we can go to our layer right click on it go to blending options open up the bevel and emboss section choose how much of a bevel we want and what size we want it in these menus here and then click ok and that creates a little bit of a shadowy effect around here so it looks a bit more three-dimensional and then we need to add a drop shadow as well so we right click on here go up to our blending options and look for our drop shadow and then work out where we want to place it how far away we want it etc so that we can see the the effect we're after and then we click ok and there is our drop shadow there you go a really simple technique to do is the dripping effect like we've got dripping paint very popular at the moment on the internet so have a go at making your own using this technique if you've enjoyed the video obviously pop over to when you come up nature of flowers, hit that subscribe button, tick the notification bell. And thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. And have a good new term. Bye.